Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So I just want to quickly actually share something personal. I've actually been dealing with this on my own. And then the funny thing is, if I actually tell anyone, I think that was the reason I didn't tell anybody. They will feel like I need no more. <laughs> but I'm actually coming out now to say it. So, I think right from secondary school, I used to see being light skinned as not like a cause, a cause to sound too strong. I never saw it as an advantage. I never saw being light skinned as something, as something good. That's the point. Like, I used to actually wish I was dark skinned or chocolate or something, but not light skinned. I had my reasons. And if there was like, you know, a lot of people usually go for creams and soaps that would be their dark skin. If there was something like that for light skin to get dark, wow. <laughs> I'm sure I would have tried it. I will be dark skinned already because I never really liked being and I, I never liked being light skinned. It was like the cross for me. Okay, I will tell you my reasons and nobody should judge me, nobody should come for me because it's just how I felt and I'm allowed to air out my thoughts and opinions. So I know being light skinned is sounds like a trophy people usually just that's it all those guys prefer light skinned girls model agency like light skinned girls all three jobs they love light skinned girls but it was it was never the case and I just wanted to be dark skin because I felt being dark skin would make me fit in okay now one reason is people never saw me as beautiful or pretty. You just see me as one attractive girl. And she's light skinned. She's just attractive. She's not beautiful. Like, <laughs> most of them are like, wow, so only dark skinned girls are beautiful. Then, man, let me be dark skinned. Like, let me be called dark. What the hell? Everything. And because now, not because of her color, it's because she's light. I hated that. I hated that statement. Said because it is because you are light. He said if that they will say if I if I was dark skin I would be fine. That dark skin complexion won't fit me. I'm like fam, do you wanna try it? Can you make me dark? And I'll still be this fine. Like try it. Hey the dark skin, I'm trying to say if you're dark you'll be fine. But <laughs> you just never saw me as beautiful it was oh they're just attractive just because of your skin color and that is it even in my department i was never voted as most beautiful girl because i have light skin i forget it i took it i took it really personal i took it that deep I wasn't even able to even put my name down for this beautiful anymore because I just felt everyone would just brush it off and say she just accepts me because of her color. I hated it. I hated it. But now I think I'm starting to accept myself and just be light skin because I really can't do much about it. When I was in four hundred, like when I was still in school, I usually use coconut oil and shea butter and then I was getting dark. The people started complaining, fam, they're getting dark. I'm like, fam, what do you want? What do you want? They would see people who fit in and I'm attracted just because of my skin color. I people that would become, that would be, that would, they start complaining and say, they're getting dark. This da 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 da. I'm like, can you just leave me? Can you just let me be? <sighs> so now the second reason was I was never African enough 
for people. <laughs> they probably felt I I was the outcast, like somebody in my family tree was probably a white person and then that is why I have the old light skin color and all that too. People just the first time anyone meets me, especially some people who don't know me who have never met me before. The first question is, are you Nigerian? Like, oh, I am. Like, ah, oh, no, no, no. Your mom must have, or there must be the right person in your family history, in your family to degree or something. I'm like, no, I don't know about that, but I am Africa. I am Nigeria. Like, oh, oh, brother, Nigerian. Both of my parents are from evil state, so I don't know how I got the light skin. Maybe from the old ego history, or I am Nigerian, I am an African. So please, but one thing that I actually like about my color that it's just that it's like a conversation starter for me. Like anybody <laughs> that doesn't know me, never met me before, who just asks. Are you Nigerian? Where are you from? So kind of start the conversation between myself and somebody I don't know. So. <laughs> and then I think the third reason is the names, the local names that come with this color. Oh God. Oh God. I don't like any of them. I do not like any of them. One is Boro God. Just kill me. <laughs> Just kill me. Another one is Up in the Park. A friend actually gave me that nickname when I was in secondary school and I just could not eat in here because it was a, it was a vibe actually. But I ate that nickname and I just wanted it to end as soon as I left that school. So <laughs> uh, please, please do not call me up never after watching this video because I will kill you. I will find you and kill you. Do you get? So don't even don't even there. Then the other name was um Afi. Oh god. <laughs> Afi or uh Abino. Or they call me Escape Abino. Or almost a dino, jeez, jeez. You guys, don't you have, don't you have, don't you have heart? I you when it's like my color, whenever I go to the market, uh, yellow purple or overripe purple, things like that. Oh god. Yeah. And then Afcast too, yeah, it's called Afcast. And you will actually come to accept myself and my color. So I don't need anybody's validation or compliments. I am beautiful inside out. So, but maybe because there is actually no dark skin bleach yet. So I was just keeping some light skin. So. Anyhow, but if you want to make me feel good, just comment and tell me how beautiful I am. Tell me I'm pretty. Tell me I am gorgeous. Please, compliments. Compliments are...